like I just spent. Hello? Deirdre! Oh, we came out in the. Hey, boys. You look. dirty. Yeah. I'm yeah. fine. We need to see the judge now. How yeah, us there? too. We found the. The will. No need to recap. Let's go. The will. <laughs> We're good. Nancy, are you all right? Deirdre, can you, Frank, and Joe wait in the hallway? Don't let anyone leave this office. My pleasure. <laughs> Deirdre said so She loves being like a uh, fucking talk. body. What is this? It's urgent. Yes, it looks like it. Is it a confession? Maybe. Judge, we've been here all night. I think it's time we retire. You're not going anywhere, Herp. <laughs> Excuse me? Your Honor, it's become clear to us that Miss Cole has been the perpetrator of numerous crimes here in Salem, including attempted murder. Murder? Judge, please. That's a very serious claim. Bitch, we know. I know. And this is a serious case. People's lives hang in the balance. This is very cute and all, but we have to do adult. I'm gonna hate pop that. you, yeah. <laughs> everyone, before your PB and J's get cold. I have proof, and it's all related to the Hathorn House, the future of which rests in your hands. So I think you should hear me out before you sign that paper. All right. What? You can't be serious, Judge. This is clearly a half-brained attempt to delay what we have determined to be a sound judgment that the Hathorn House should revert to the state. We have spent most of this evening going over all possibilities for how to decide the rightful owner of this house. And you've been very adamant that the state should handle it. But if Nancy has any evidence to add, I'm willing to hear her out. Now all of a sudden he's being reasonable. Unbelievable. All right. Mm, let's start I mean, with these the, are all true. Mm -hmm, let's start with the water supply. That's the murder. Alicia one. has been poisoning Lauren Holt's water supply. Poisoning? That's just too much. After interviewing Lauren Holt and experiencing some negative side effects from drinking her water, I discovered that someone had been tainting her water supply with ergot. Well, that would explain my client's erratic behavior over the past few weeks. She lost her mother. Months ago. Bitch! And that woman wasn't her mother. Give me a break. How do you know that ergot causes erratic behavior? <laughs> you said she was poisoned. Wouldn't that affect anyone's behavior? What exactly are you insinuating? I just told you. That you know how ergot affects its victims. I'm not answering these questions. I have to be well versed in biology. All right? Oh, she just but any tidbit of knowledge I have, you'll just try to trap me with it. Use it against me. I don't need to do that because I found in your office a map of the Hathorn House's water system. Yes. And did you also find the notice of demolition on my desk when you illegally broke into my office? Door was open. Are you going to arrest her for breaking and entering? Is what Nancy's saying true? Of course I have a map of the Hathorn House's water plans. So you admit it. You are going to try to demolish Hathorn House. I was providing my client, Lauren Holt, with that option. Yes. The land is worth a lot of money and I was doing my due diligence. Have you done yours? Yes. Yeah, what about flooding the tunnels under Salem in the past hour? Would you know how to do that, Miss Cole? I was here, Miss Drew. Your coat looks pretty soaked. And muddy shoes. Water is wet, and it's raining outside. Are you satisfied with the ridiculousness of this yet? How much longer are you going to let this go on? It all does seem circumstantial. I got more. Is that all you have, Mr. No. We'll start with the AW evidence, maybe. Yeah, I think Alicia we're going to do them all anyway. responsible yeah. for stealing AW evidence from your office. It will be, bitch. I spoke with your son, Jason. He claims Alicia forced him. Jason is a grown man. His actions are his own. 
Alicia lent Jason her car. Then Jason broke into the evidence room and stole the files. I have proof on CCTV. So, what it actually sounds like is that Jason took my car, stole the evidence, and somehow I'm to blame? Yeah. How did he have access to your car? I gave him the keys. He runs errands for me all the time. And how did he have access to the evidence room? Only you and the judge had the code. Look here, on the wall. An access code. I wonder if it's for the evidence room. Probably. God, she is insufferable. Judge. But your carelessness is the reason this happened. In all probability, Jason heard that you left the door unlocked, and he just went and opened it. I doubt that. He barely spends any time with me. Aww. I found this in 10 seconds. You left it out for anyone to see. If he didn't know the door was unlocked, how hard would it have been to find your key? Miss Cole, that's enough. Yeah, like you're really gonna blame Anything him. It's gonna help make him room? like you more. Alicia was behind the theft of the Book of Apologies. I've never been to Europe, okay? Jason has. How did you know it was in Europe? I heard the judge talking to you about it. I found plane tickets in Jason's car. He admitted to stealing the Book of Apologies on Alicia Cole's orders. Orders? <laughs> How did I order little Jason to do this, Nancy Drew? Black Jason man. has financial problems. Right, Judge? I don't really know. To be honest with you, I know he's always looking for money. Mm. He's in debt. Badly. A fact Alicia uses to her advantage. <laughs> this is absurd. How did he buy a first-class round-trip ticket to Salzburg when the crime occurred? I love that she treated him to first because class. Because I pay mm -hmm. him for doing errands for me. He could use his money however he feels fit. He's a big boy now. Ew. I admit, I don't know how we could prove that Alicia... Call the airline. <laughs> you can use the plane ticket reference number. Call the airline. They should be able to check the payment. I bet you it was paid by Alicia Cole. Credit card. There's no way Jason would have that much cash to buy a first-class ticket. He obviously stole my credit card. You're so, you so, suck so bad. you admit that your card was used to make the purchase. <laughs> you didn't even call them. I, I didn't say that. If the card is still active, I doubt that he stole it. The credit card company would have notified you for making a large purchase, and you would have canceled it. How large is this purchase? Thousands of dollars, Judge. Hmm. Miss Cole, if this was a court of law and the police were asking for probable cause, I'd be hard pressed not to allow it. Do you have anything to say? I told him to get rid of those tickets. <laughs> you know, Your Honor, your son is a real idiot. Truly, a world class moron. He couldn't even follow simple instructions. I would have had better luck writing them in crayon. Carl, you are not doing and this, any favors. Seriously? This is the kind of stuff I have to deal with? I went to law school. I have three degrees. And now I have... an arsonist. Two ghost hunters. A wannabe detective. And her assistant. <laughs> hey! What? No! Trying to screw up my plans. Yeah. All the people you pointed out are the reason you're going down. No. The reason I am going down is that this stupid little town is stuck in the past. Oh, my great 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 grandmother was accused as a witch. I want repayment because I'm lazy. She loved me so much that I want this disgusting ruin of a house for free so I can run my luminous vegan tea grocery store. God. That is what pathetic looks like. <laughs> a bunch of whining, moaning little people whose worldview is infinitesimally small. I can't believe our villain's a boomer. Why? I know, Alicia. Why? Because I wanted to do something for this town. You tried to kill somebody. I care Salem more than all the Olivia's and Tegan's and Lauren's combined. I care the most. We should have leveled that old house a long time ago and built new houses. 
With all that land, we could have a real community here. We could bring in new business that isn't completely reliant on stupid, scary stuff. I am talking about economic development on a level which Salem has never even seen. Has three degrees. Calls what we just witnessed stupid, scary stuff. And who would be the owner of these new houses? Ah. Well, after knowing this case inside out, it wouldn't be hard for me to get the land out of the grasp of the state. After all I've done for this community, some recompense is in order. So, you get paid. You were saying you poisoned Lauren so you could build and own a housing complex. <laughs> Just literally. Do you realize how much money is in real estate? And give me a break. I was just scaring her. I told you I know about biology. She was never in any real danger. You still, you can't yeah. poison people. But Alicia, I saw the ergot in the water valve. There is absolutely no way you could control the dosage that Lauren ingested. You could have done irreparable damage. So what? I live here. I work here. I am a member of this community. If I this town needs me. I deserve to no. kill Doesn't. someone sometimes. I already have the papers, and I am taking them to the state office. And none of you are going to stop me. Because you can't prove anything. Jason There's no legal out. heir to the Hathorn estate. Yeah, there is. Even the evidence Detective Girl brought up will stick. So you admit to all of it? Yes. Now get out of my way. The way Oh! The police are on their way. You can wait here for them to arrive. Thank you, Frank. Arrest. This is unbelievable. I only wanted to make sense. You're Salem a venture capitalist. Shut this up. Is doing disturbing. anything for your community. You just want to gentrify shit. Very shocked at what has occurred here. Miss Cole will be held accountable for her crimes. I will make sure of it. But as much as it pains me to admit, she is right. We got a will. We, we got a will. Just you wait. Legal air. Yes, we do. Yes. Spit it out, Joe. Or Frank, whichever of you is holding it. Let's lead with the both of them. Yeah, I like both. According to the Book of Apologies and Francis Tuttle's will, Lauren Holt is the legal owner of the Hathorn House estate. The will makes it clear that Lauren is the sole inheritor of the estate, no one else. However, in the best interest of all parties, perhaps there could be a way to erect a memorial for the accused witches. That is something that you, Your Honor, would have to facilitate. Of course. Okay. Well, what about the Hathorn House fire? Don't worry about it. No one forgave me when I made a mistake. Break the cycle, right? May had nothing to do with the fire. You're sure? How do you know? Because I have a confession from the person who did. Auntie, shut the I mean, she oh. has to. <laughs> Intentionally set the fire to force out Laura. No. Why do they even give us these villainous he Nancy options? Mary is responsible for the fire, but it was an accident. An accident? Yes. Tegan went looking for the will and accidentally knocked a candle over inside the house. The fire grew out of control. I questioned her myself. I believe her. I'm afraid I can't just take your word for it. Will Tegan give us the same Something testimony? Go. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. I believe so. Well, the house is going to be demolished anyway. And while I wish I could give out punishment for withholding information, I suppose... We can keep this at a misdemeanor level. Oh, Perhaps nice. a fine. Some community service. Ugh, what a mess. This has been a very tough time for everyone. Mm -hmm. I think the damage has been done. Agreed. But... Judge, did you ever interview May? Get a statement <laughs> from her? No. Anything on record? Well, not exactly. So you just assumed she was guilty of the crime? Yeah, I just still don't I'm vibe with that. A case needed to be built. There was no case, because you never needed to make one. You thought she was guilty, and so you treated her accordingly. Miss True? No. I ask that in this office you treat me with respect. No. No, fuck you. You deserve as much respect as I'm currently oh, giving you, Judge. Yeah. Tell him, Nance! Nancy, maybe we should... 
You made this poor girl's life a living nightmare because of something she did when she was young. She was a kid, Your Honor. Her entire life molded and built and destroyed by an event she barely remembers. Can you imagine what that does to someone? Can you imagine what that does to her family? To her friends? Well, that is a bit unfair. Yeah, it was unfair You for know, her. this town has a history of judges behaving without sound jurisprudence. And I would expect that after 300 years, you would be able to right that wrong. <sighs> Tell him, Perhaps Nancy. You have a point. But my concerns are not unfounded. You think Jason is a screw-up now? Oh, shit. What would have happened if he had been friends with her? Rude ass! He is friends with her, Judge. What? How's that possible? They have cell phones. I, I thought at least I would know. He doesn't know. talk to you at all. A judge is supposed to judge people on their actions alone, not the people they call their friends. I just hope you remember that when you sentence Jason. Oh. Because his crimes aren't imagined. They're real. And they deserve real punishment. Oh, Nancy's so awful. Sometimes I hurt. I know. I, I, I would be like, Jason's fine. Mm -hmm. Let the stupid rich boy, he's not rich, get away with it. Aw, look at them. Achievement unlocked, heritage. Hey guys. I uh, just wanted to say I'm sorry. For what? Aww. He always promised that a secret was the most important thing in the world and we would never break it. And I did. Aww. You saved my life. If Nancy hadn't found me, well... <clears throat> I, um... Uh, I'm going to be gone for a while. Going to jail? Yeah. Still, I know who you are. Aww. There's a good person hidden below this pretty boy exterior. Aww. Come on. You may go away, but that good part never will. Aww. Girl, but he's like going to jail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and who gives a fuck? Okay. I know, I'm just saying yeah. that's that's not gonna be easy. Come on. <laughs> you know? Ships it, but in an unmistakably bisexual way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, gang. Oh We're partying? Wait, why do I hear things? Oh, we are partying. Fine. Oh, fine. It's like a little like. I guess we talked to T and me. Didn't have to. What? I told the truth, or at least the truth you told me. Two hundred hours community service. Oh, that's not too bad. I don't do that already, though. Right. I was saying that's what just that exactly what we were planning. Which street art? Aww. Who's the artist? You know I know her. Do you ever feel remorse for not sticking up for my sister? I will probably be dealing with that for the rest of my life. She doesn't hate me nearly enough for what I put her through. And from the bottom of my heart. I like this nice little party scene too. You're the only reason she doesn't think I'm Lauren deserves that she does. Aww. You sound genuine. <laughs> <laughs> She's had a tough life. Good night, too. viewer. I'm not mad at her. I hope that maybe she will see eye to eye with me someday. You did set fire to her house. <laughs> yeah, there is that. It hasn't all been crime and punishment, though. We had so many great moments. And one moment of shame. I told you. I would tell myself we were all kids, but I was old enough to know better than you. I must did it again. She says she forgives me, but we still have a lot to make up for. We all do. We are all going to hold each other now. Hi. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually happy you came. Yay! Just a bit. Of course. The celebration party is the best part of most cases. No. Well, yes. Sure. But I meant to say one. I still don't understand why you went out of your way to do any of this. Makes me kind of feel like a jerk for not talking to you when you first came. <laughs> 
I understand things have been tough for you. Please, don't worry about it. I'm just happy I was able to help. You are, for sure. I'm going to art school. I know. <laughs> I mentioned it, but I'm really excited. And nervous. I've never really left Salem before. I like how treating Salem we'll like this tiny sometime. town that no one's heard of. Yeah, almost, you mm -hmm. know? that wouldn't be the worst, I guess. I love this like fun party music. Can I talk to you now? Oh, yeah, I can. So, ready to leave yet? No. I just got here. Not the house. Salem. You always wrap up your cases in a nice bow to run off for the next one the day after, don't you? <laughs> this time, I might actually take that vacation. Oh yeah, I need to call my boyfriend. Does it sound like your style? But if you say so. I'm excited. We had our moments during the They were really gay days. moments. Mm -hmm. In the end, you cleared May's name. So thanks. You're welcome. You're welcome. It was my pleasure to help. Ugh, that attitude just kills me. You did get Tegan off the hook too, though. I hate to admit it, but for a moment, mm -hmm. I actually felt happy I could call you. Yay! Don't get used to it. I can handle cases on my own. And I've just emptied your praise quota for the coming year. <laughs> I know you can. I'll see you around. Yay! Yay! Not you. <laughs> hey there. How are you holding up? I can't believe Alicia would do this. I trusted her, you know? Things would have been really bad if you hadn't exposed her for who she is. I'm sorry. You couldn't have known. Did the judge have a chance to talk to you about the house? It is yours, of course. But maybe it would be fitting to have a memorial for the accused witches there? Nancy keeps on pressing this. The estate like, them has figured out. And it would be nice to have a memorial to remind us of the injustices that took place here. So they never have. Ever. I'll think about it and talk to the AW organization about what they prefer. That's a good idea. I'm glad you see it that way. Tag early. Who do we have here? If it isn't the insightful red-headed witch herself. I thought you were the only real witch around here. There's always room for another witch in the coven, Nancy Drew. <laughs> and I have to say, someone with your magical insights, clairvoyance, even, would make a great fit. I'm just, like, observant. I have always wanted to ride on a broom. <laughs> would make it easier to get an overview of crime scenes. Nancy, you dork. Really, thank you for bringing us all together again. It feels like ages since I was able to talk openly with Lauren. It's great to finally have the curse from that night lifted. Thank you. I got you, girly. All right, we're saving Joe for last because I want to marry him. Nancy, so glad you're here. Of course. I wouldn't miss the party after all we went through. Hey, shouldn't you ask her? You know, the thing we talked about. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, are we starting? Yeah, to right. yeah so, we're shooting um, a girl. Nancy, the thing we talked about before? Have you thought about it? I'm starting excited. a detective agency, I mean. Dear Drick and Parties and Drew Detective Agency. Yeah. Has a nice ring to it, no? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, I don't know. Shut oh, up, Nancy. Nancy. Oh, sorry. Your name can be placed first, of course. <laughs> if that helps persuade you. I'm going to have to think about it. The answer is yes. Nancy's such a... It was great working with you again. I guess they're Let us know what you think about the detective agency. I wish I was in real life married oh, to Joe. Oh, can we get their last little bits, I guess, of dialogue? Like the, when oh, yeah. the second time ago? The coven would be happy to welcome someone like you. Alright, alright. As always. Come visit Salem again sometime. Right. I always have new herbs and remedies coming into the shop. Sounds fun. I'll be sure to stop by and stir the pot. 
Boo. It's a joke about mixing drugs. Feel free to hang around. I know May wanted to have a chat with you. <laughs> Wait, maybe I wasn't supposed to tell you that. That's cute. I'll see you around, Drew. Not too soon, though. I like that she hates us because we're perfect. I just, I agree. Nancy's too perfect. I agree. Tearja really has the weirdest friends. I'll see you around. I think I just like leave when I'm yeah. done. Oh wait, I need to give Olivia's photo to, I never did it. This. Hey, do you want this? This one from Olivia. She wanted you to have it. Got her. She said she didn't want you to feel alone. Oh, so sweet of her. Oh, they're gonna start the coven again. Keep this then, if you don't mind. Yes, it's for you. You try to work things out. It was so long ago. We used to be good friends, three of us. Thank you for giving this to me. It's amazing how one night really screwed this entire town. Can I give you yours back? Here. I guess she wants it. She doesn't want it. It's the other thing. Wait, else. can I give it to Olivia? <laughs> That's a pancakes. <laughs> Here. Do you want this? No. Okay, I think I just I like leave, leave when yeah. I'm done. No, that's... Yay! Cool. I'm glad I remembered. <gasps> oh! I got it. Ready? Austria. That's where they're going on their vacation? Mm. Yeah, I know I was just there. <laughs> but I didn't really get to enjoy it much. I feel like there's a lot more exploring left to do there. Did you know Shunburn Palace has 1,440 rooms? Yeah. This is spooky. Well, I don't know if you can stay there. I'm sure we could find something close by. Yes, I promise. No cases this time. Just the two of us. And then there's a preview for the next game at the end? Yeah, but first we have to look at our ugly faces on the <laughs> I know. screen. There I am. <laughs> that was so fun. That was fun. Uh, I really liked, I mean, I, obviously I'm tired, but uh -huh. I liked that it ended with a little party and I got to talk to everybody one last time. Uh-huh. It's like, uh, it's, I think, I think they, like, they quite modernized, like, Nancy and the gang. Yeah, I like that a lot. Cool. Because I think, you know, how the games used to wrap up at yeah. the end, like, that was with her writing the letters writing home. Writing the letters home. I like this one a Diana. lot. Also, what if I cosplayed Joe Hardy? <laughs> That would be pretty easy. You already dressed easy. like that. Yeah. <laughs> I need a fucking Beatles hoodie. Yeah. And a bottle of blonde hair dye. Let's see. What else was I thinking about this game? I had thoughts. I feel good about it. I feel good too. I, I, I still believe all the puzzles were right there at the end. Which yeah, is which is really kind of annoying. We spent like, I remember the first time we played, we were like two hours in. We're like, where's the puzzles? Puzzle. Yeah. yeah. I feel I like they spent a lot of time like modernizing it and it didn't spend a lot of time like... Yeah, at the end, it. truly at the end is where all the puzzles came through. Yeah, I really appreciate puzzles and I want all of the puzzles. Yeah, I do. I do like them. It's a guy named Jason. Mm -hmm. And Jason was like, Jason. I have to go away yeah. for a while. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's jail buddy. that you're thinking yeah. of. <laughs> um. I mean, he's a judge's son. Oh. Sorry, I had I remembered what I went on to say, which is that in the game I feel like they almost made it quite like cinematic. Yeah. With like with the, the cutscenes scenes, and don't the end. Always happen the, in Nancy Drew games. Yeah. Very rare. Very rare are the cutscenes. <clears throat> usually it's some sort of dialogue still. Even, yeah. Even if you only have the one choice, they still usually give it to you and you click it and so I like I It was definitely that. clunky though. Yeah, for sure, but I think that's by virtue of it being, being the first it, one of, like this, yeah. of the new design. I feel like as they play I remember more games, when we played, um, it'll be better. Not Alibi and Ashes. The one... Is that Alibi? No, the first one. Where... The 
first new Super Mario game. Uh, Seekers Can Kill? Yeah, that one was clunky because it was the first. This right. is the first of a new generation. Right. And even this obviously wasn't even as clunky as I don't Not, think Seekers Can Kill. <laughs> Seekers Can Kill was clunky and we played the like uh, the remaster. Remaster yeah. and it's still clunky. No, I was, and I also, you know, a lot of people um, in the, like the little Facebook group that I'm a part of—they're like, this one's not good. They were like, it's short, and I was like, is it? Because we're on like four and a half hours. We, of our, life. our problem is that we get hung up on the dumbest things. We we don't get hung up by like who's the murder. We get hung up on like where's the button I have to click. And Truly, it's so annoying. And then we I spend so thirty minutes looking around, and then we find yeah. it. We're like, oh, there it is. There I also think going. people have been spoiled by like. 300 hour games like just let it run its course yeah but i mean these are people like they, those are people in the main like, i know but still thing. it's been a while yeah i guess so they were like they wanted a really long 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 game not us it's a fun way to spell sylvester Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. do we have any more thoughts i don't think i have any more thoughts i don't think i've ever know. thought before I don't know. I liked it, though. I thought in the end it was very good. Yeah, I, th I liked the ending. I liked all the, like, sort of mirrors with the past, and that woman's like, I want this land to build a house on, and the guy was like, I want this land to build a house on, fucking right. 300 years ago or whatever. I like, um... Like I said, the whole thing felt very cinematic. Like, this one in particular almost yeah. felt like it's like, uh... You know, I liked. I think the, the dialogue, the villain's motivation is very funny because it's like all these people are so lazy; they just want handouts. And like it's like, very like anti-millennial, which is hilarious. Right, and that's the villain also, so that's yeah. fun. Because um, like I want this house because my mom died in it or whatever. And it's like I think that's fair. Right. I think that's like, fucking fair, actually. <laughs> we were just like, oh my god, oh, yeah. Also, they were like, her mother passed away, and she was like, that's not even ago. her mother. Yeah. I'm like okay. <laughs> Yeah, they're doing a very good job of making you not likable. Right. Just in case we sort of vibed with your motivations, which were to profit off of housing. Right. She, not was, like, to, she was literally like, do you know how much money there is? And I know. It, it wasn't like a, let's build homeless people housing. It was like, I'm going to profit off of this housing, which is not the, right. like, doing it for Salem, but she thinks it is. Library of Congress. Woohoo. Oh, that's cool. I like when they use real stuff. I want more chicken fingers. Dude, me too. <laughs> Where should we go for, for chicken I was fingers? telling Adam, we were left alone, you went to the bathroom, I was like, I'm thinking about what's open, maybe we should do cookout. Fuck yeah. Yes. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we should do cookout. Oh my god. Oh look, special thanks to us. Our loyal fans. Yeah. That's us. That's us. It's Drew. Dare to play. We Copyright in the Hardy Boys are characters by license. It's a work of fiction. Cool. I don't know why I thought Nancy was in the public domain. I totally thought so as well. I gotta give her up so I can start making stuff nice. What's this? What's this? What's this? These are logos. I know, I know, but I'm like, we're at the end. Aww. Dare to play. Aww. <laughs> I think it's just gonna take us back to the title screen. Probably. Wait, are there play again? You no. I guess we don't get awards anymore. It's just a, we got achievements, achievements, which not as fun. And the quiz, I do miss. Them. Ergo was a type of fungus. Fungus. Oh shit, we are gonna get it! Yay! <laughs> that was oh, the outside weird. of. Oh, we just got the achievement for trivia. Okay. Okay. Well, what are the extras? We might. Oh, here we go. Achievements. Yeah. So we. Okay. Get so it. we got. The egg. Is there any way to damn it? Oh, there is one at least. There's probably I'm sure there's one. Damn it! One, two. Oh no. Four. Solve all master puzzles. But we'd have to play that. it. Yeah, yeah, fuck no. We could hardly do it at this level. At least we got the trivia game. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm gonna have to look up what those are. Right. Alright, well. Well that was fun. Yeah. We did it. Team. We did it. <laughs> Bye to nobody who's watching anymore. Right.